All right, well, welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing off this little mechanism here. And the reason I made this was to get the amount of items that I don't want out. So I decided that I wanted one double chest full of feathers. And this is designed for my KFC and my survival server. So what this mechanism does is the items come in here. It's just like an item sorter, essentially. So the items come in, they go through here, and then you can have, you know, more sorters down this way or in front. doesn't matter. So here's the sorter itself. And it's just a basic item sorter. And what it does is it sorts out your items. So you have your items in here that you want. They go in here. Now, what I have done is I took this and I put a comparator onto the side and it measures out the signal strength so when this chest gets completely full I put an item in there it gets sucked out and as you heard it got dropped out through the dropper here and what happened was this comparator powered up 15 redstone so it powered up this and then it powered up these two repeaters Turned off this torch, turned off this repeater, and turned off the redstone, making this go down, and then the dropper shot it out through this clock mechanism here. Now, it's a pretty simple design. There's really nothing crazy about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just go ahead and give a quick demonstration here. So I got 22 feathers. Take half of these out. Throw them into here. As you can see, they're going into there and they go into the chest here and you'll see shortly as soon as it reaches a full stack they'll start getting sucked out again and now it's going down and you can see they're getting into here and then the clock is dropping all the items out until we run out of items which has just happened so yeah that's a pretty quick little design um, there might be a more efficient way it probably is out there somewhere, but this is just a quick little one that I made up. Figured I'd share it with y'all. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to make this thing. So, first we start off, this is all the items you will need. The blocks is not too an exact amount. You're just going to need somewhere around there. So we got four comparators. One dropper, four repeaters, two torches, one bucket of lava. The bucket of lava is optional, I will say, but if you're playing on a server... It will be very hard because it will induce lag if you use this thing to its full potential. About a stack of blocks, 26 redstone, two double chests, four hoppers, and one slab. Does not matter what kind of slab, just a slab. I would not recommend wood because lava and wood, you know, might burn. Uh, one thing that I'm also not including is the two chests there for the input and the line of hoppers. Plus the chest on the end there. Let's go ahead and get our items. Alright, so we're going to start off here. We're going to make a item sorter coming out the bottom here. So we can put a double chest here like this. Put a hopper going into that chest. And build up from the side here and put a hopper going into this block here. It does not matter which way it's facing. It can go anywhere, but it cannot be facing down. That's the only thing. Now we're gonna build off to the back here. Build down here, put a block there, build up like that. Place down a comparator, two redstone dust, repeater in here, and a torch down here. And that is the item sorter completed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build the system that detects how many items are in it. So you're going to build up like that. Take it, the comparator, place it there. And you're going to build out, let's see, you're going to build out three. So you're going to build out from here, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna come across just like that. And come back in. 
I can delete that one there, build down two here, put a repeater there, and redstone dust there, and then put redstone dust all along this line here. And now what you're going to do is you build up like this, put a redstone torch up like that, a block on top of it, block here, redstone on top of that, put a block on top of here, build up like that, put a redstone repeater, block up like that, down with a block, and put redstone dust right there, and you're going to get your half slab. Put it over just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the dropper hot clock so we can get the items to eject into the lava. So you're going to put a hopper down like that, another hopper in like that. Put your dropper just like that and the hopper running into it. Now for the hopper clock, or the dropper clock, we're going to put a repeater, a comparator coming out of the side of it. A redstone repeater, a block, comparator on this side, make sure you put that on. And you're going to run a redstone line just around like that. And you're going to run it straight into it. And now you could leave it like this if you have just a single player world where it's not going to really have any issues with lag or whatnot. But for me, running on a server, or if you're running on a server, you're going to want to dig down something like this. Place it upside down. And then put in your bucket of lava. So that way your items get burned and it doesn't cause entity lag. So now the last step here. We're going to get some feathers. So the command that I just used there, slash give, at A meaning at all players, Minecraft feather, and on a count of 99. So I'm going to give myself a few more. So you got about a full inventory of those. Now what you're going to do first before anything is you come up to this hopper here, the one that's facing outwards, and you're going to take your feathers and fill it up like that. And then you want to have 18 here, and that will be your item sorter finished up. So when you put another feather in there, it will drain out just like that, and it will go into this chest. Well, it'll actually get stuck here until the next one comes through. And then once that goes into the chest there, it will activate this comparator and it'll start going. That's why when you saw in the demonstration it had 62 sometimes and sometimes 63 because it gets stuck here. And that's not really a big deal since it is feathers. Now if you had items like diamonds that are more valuable then you'd want to fix that. So now we're going to go ahead and do a quick test of the sorter. So the items are now moving through and you see the comparators come on. And it is starting to power the redstone around and as this chest gets filled up further and further it'll move further around through here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up that process by putting some in the chest. Okay, so now i got this chest filled up except for this one slot which has five. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see that this is all still powered up. And it's just about to reach this redstone here. So once this fills up, it will activate the system and it will start to dispense it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stack in here. And shortly, you see that it starts to fill up here. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. And now you see the system is now activating. And you can hear the dropper is firing all the excess into there. You can see that it's draining out one at a time. We just got a couple more feathers going through. And now the system has stopped at 63. And now all the excess items have been burned and you have and you're left with a full double chest of feathers. And that's that. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one.